What's up, everybody? It's Jeffrey Lyles welcoming you to another installment of Lyles Movie Files. Joining me, as always, the little brother, Jace. How you doing, bro, Shot? Hello! Doing good. Doing good. Ready to podcast. Amazing. And even though you can't see him because of the New York Giants camouflage, we've got Chief. What's up, man? Even though I'm mute, he still collapses. Yeah, that, that's very, very <laughs> polite. Could dislodge the mute button. I guess the dogs are going at it. All right, speaking of going at it, let's talk about The Walking Dead. It has, they broke it up into three parts. And the second part had its mid-season, mid-season part two finale this week. And we both had different thoughts on it. <laughs> where I'm like, <laughs> these Commonwealth cats are crazy. Specifically Lance Hornsby. Because it doesn't make any sense what he's trying to do here. And you were, go ahead and say your point about this whole deal. Because I thought it was really funny. Okay. So, as we saw at the end of last season, one of the main things that the Commonwealth did before they invite anybody to live with them is they go through these intake interviews and they ask them, you know, a thousand questions, see if their story is going to change. And when they talk to Eugene, who's been around basically since season three, he's probably given them very good detail on what happens when you cross Rick and them boys. (laughs) And every time it's like, hey, we come to a community, we stay there, we act peaceful. And then probably a year later, we've screwed it up. We've gone to war with somebody and the community's all dead. And if you stay, you were there original, we are going to come like locusts, destroy your little community, and then move on to the next community and repeat the cycle. So Lance Hornsby, after hearing this, I mean, he probably had a printout and everything because they're, they're modern society. So he had probably recording and he hears this and his move instead of just you know what a either not assimilate him or just hey we can clear out other patches of dirt land and create new society he decides he wants to cause drama with these guys they can't they can't keep a functioning society at all for 10 years but one thing they are perfect at is destroying other communities that they is, have they are undefeated that. on that scale oh and you they excel to- at it and, I mean, like, it doesn't matter. You got the numbers. They These guys are good at violence. And you want to call... I mean, you want to create drama with them? You're an idiot. It's like, I, I, I didn't understand that at all. Good luck. So, yeah, that that is a very weird deal because they have their perfect society. They've got ice cream. They've got cotton candy. They have festivals. And I'm like, what do you need anything else? Who could ask for anything more? And these guys are just like, oh, Lance, I guess. I I need my own pocket of land to rule. And I'm just thinking, this is the worst pocket to try to take over. Because there's nothing of use at Hilltop and Alexandria. These are broken down societies. Maybe Oceanside has some value. But the rest of them, there's other Oceansides. Hilltop is just a symbol. It's like, I don't want your symbol. You guys have Hilltop. Have your symbol. I want land, real estate. I, I'm talking about bringing colleges back, you know, going up the river to another state. It's like, well, I'm going to go up to Chesapeake, you know, the eastern shore, hang out there, maybe try and revitalize Ocean City again. I'm not messing with you morons. Like, no, you guys do whatever you want over at Hilltop. In, in, enjoy it. Alexandria. There, you have no land. You can, kingdom's gone. You can have all of that. I'm making a deal with Hilltop. I mean, Oceanside. Like, hey, I'm inviting you guys to this party. I might give you some resources. Just stay out of my way so you don't come invade me like you've done every other side. Like, like the Saviors, where they decided, oh, we're gonna start this war because we want more stuff. It's like, no, I see what these dudes do. Here's over there. Y'all stay away. We have a neutrality pact that y'all don't mess with us. We do not want to be part of you. Would you y'all, we will do whatever. We will create a, a peace treaty just to stay on y'all side of the fence. 
I don't want anything with y'all. So after hearing, like, after 10 years, we destroyed uh, Woodboro's. We destroyed the prison. We destroyed uh, Terminus. Uh, we destroyed Alexandria real good. We destroyed Kingdom. Oh, and Hilltop, shoot. Yeah, Hilltop, Hilltop doesn't even have a building anymore. I mean, we're really thorough in our destruction of towns. And you want to start mess with us? Come on, man. You got to be better. Like, that makes no sense. Yeah. And then I, there was a lot that went on. And I've been kind of bored with this whole subplot with Eugene. Because I feel like Max is absurdly in every way possible out of his league. And even though he's kind of chatty, I don't see it at all. And she's way, 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 way out of his league. And She fell in love with personality. Gosh, that's a whole lot of personality. So, <laughs> but then we we got this thing where they're doing their secret cabal. And it's like, yo, okay, we got Connie, we've got Kelly. And we're going to spread the word to the citizens of the Commonwealth. And... I just was like, hey, there was already a resistance, a small resistance force. Why did y'all never meet up with those cats? Because instead they were just like, we're going we're gonna to create our own revolution. I feel like that was so weird because there was already a force opposing the elite, the upper class of the Commonwealth. And they're like, we're going to do it our way and blow it all up. But isn't, isn't Lance kind of the leader of the resistance? See, that was, a, that was the thing where it was, they took that subplot and then just like, eh, who cares? Because the yeah. whole fake Max, that seemed like it was going somewhere. Like maybe Lance was stirring it up so he could undermine Pamela and take over. And then the, the resistance thing just never surfaced again. As soon as our crew came on board, they became the resistance revolution. And I feel like that was a super missed opportunity to introduce other cannon fodder, I'm sorry, characters who could help <laughs> right sure. everybody else. Um, and it, 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 it's funny. It's like, I, in totality, I have liked the Commonwealth oh, yeah. episode, but it's like, it's it's one of those, like, we're coming towards the end of the series. And it's like, I'll, just like a lot of other shows, their final season, once you look at it in totality, it's like, yeah, that one is good. It's like, you're not going to, I mean, it's like, yes, there aren't going to be many shows that wrap up as good as like 24 where Jack is just going crazy at the end of the drink. And you're like, I'm, I'm, here, I'm here for this. This one is like, okay, when are we getting Rick and Michonne back? Because y'all are now kind of getting to that point where it's just like, you guys are kind of dragging on because it's like, why? You guys have a okay community. You guys get invited to a place that has ice cream and cotton candy. And now, oh my gosh, you know what? We got to tell the people how bad these people are. It's like, how about you just ask for an election? Because that it's like it's like an old side. Like, hey, uh, Pamela, here's what you're doing. We like to call for a free and fair election and, you know, give the people an option of, you know, not having the upper class run the thing. So my real but question. But that's what they're doing. There's this overthrow. Take it over. It's like, y'all are the worst. My question is. How did Connie and Kelly get access to the printing press? Because there should have been no way that headline got exposed out to the masses where Pamela's coming in. Do you believe what they printed? There's no way the editor would have been like, yeah, let's let's go after the governor of Commonwealth. That's going to keep the yeah, press. Yeah, like this the is paper this rolling. is not it's a like society of modern times, but it isn't. But it's it's not. like, Pamela, I got this headline. You Would you like me to kill Yes, please. Uh, can you delete all the evidence? Because there's really no evidence beside you guys writing down a piece of paper. Yeah. So can you just shred it? Sure, sure, no problem. Yeah. And who who wrote that story? Oh, Connie, the new people. No problem. Send send them back to Alexandria. Yeah. It's like it's like I don't need this smoke. I mean, like I don't need you guys here. You guys bring nothing to the table. I mean, at all. It's like who? What are you out of the character? Out of the characters we know. What has anyone added by Ezekiel is making sure the zoo's working? No, he's starting a second revolution, like with his people, like of the sick and dying, the un. I, I mean, it, I'm, I'm almost confused how it's like all they're doing is causing insurgencies and nobody's paying attention. Like, you guys didn't think to put a mole in with those morons just to see, hey, let's see if they're causing any trouble in the first six months. 
And why would we invite all of them over here during a probationary period? I think you Harvey had the mean. right idea. And it's kind of this weird thing where he probably needed to have a few more people hanging by. 